Have you ever wondered how Siri on your iPhone can understand your voice commands? Or how Netflix knows what movies to recommend for a perfect evening? Spoiler alert, it's not humans. It's all thanks to the power of artificial intelligence, or in short, AI. AI has become an integral part of our daily lives, from virtual assistants to personalized recommendations and even self-driving cars, advanced web search by Google or Bing, or recommendation engines used by platforms like YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, and many other companies. Artificial intelligence even touches the creative industry with tools like ChatGPT, and it will keep evolving in the coming years. But have you ever wondered how this all began? How did AI come to be? Join us as we explore the birth of AI and its incredible journey to the present day. Hello, tech lover, and welcome back to the new technology. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most important events in the history of technology, the birth of artificial intelligence. When we start talking about artificial intelligence, many scientists agree. It all began in the year 1956, when computer scientist John McCarthy used the term artificial intelligence during the famous Dartmouth conference, which we'll discuss later in this video. But artificial intelligence has been around for centuries, before McCarthy even gave it a name, with ancient Greek myths and legends featuring robots and automatons. One of the most famous examples is the famous story of Talos, a self-operating machine that was able to move quickly, throw boulders, and even heat up his bronze body until it glowed red hot. He was also said to be invulnerable to attack, making him a nearly unstoppable force. In a way, Talos can be seen as one of the early examples of a robot or automaton with artificial intelligence, having advanced capabilities and ability to perform tasks autonomously. However, unlike modern artificial intelligence, Talos was not designed to learn or adapt over time, but rather to perform a specific task, protecting Crete to the best of his abilities. Still, the myth of Talos has endured for thousands of years, inspiring countless works of art and literature and it remains a powerful symbol of the human fascination with technology and the desire to create machines that can think and act like humans. Moving forward to the 20th century, we'll find that artificial intelligence becomes an ever-important piece of modern history. During World War II, scientists and engineers worked on developing machines that could perform complex calculations and help crack enemy codes, the most well-known being the Enigma. Designed by Alan Turing, the Enigma machine was designed to encode and decode secret messages using a series of rotating wheels and electrical circuits. It was used by the German military to communicate confidential information during the war, and its encryption was considered highly secure. While the Enigma machine was a remarkable technological achievement, it was not capable of thinking or learning. Though it was more complex than Talos, we wouldn't call it artificial intelligence these days. Rather, it was a highly specialized machine designed for a specific purpose, encrypting messages, and it was only able to perform this task within the limits of its programming. The Enigma machine did, however, pave the way for the development of more sophisticated encryption technology, as well as the eventual development of modern computers and artificial intelligence. In this sense, it can be seen as an early precursor to the technology that would eventually lead to the development of AI. In the years following the war, researchers began to explore the possibilities of using computers for more than just calculations and decryptions. They wondered whether machines could be made to think like humans and performed tasks that required intelligence. And slowly but surely, AI came into existence. But until 1956, nobody ever spoke of something as artificial intelligence, only about computers and robots. The Dartmouth Conference, held in the summer of 1956 at Dartmouth College, is seen as one of the biggest milestones of artificial intelligence. The conference was organized by computer scientist John McCarthy. The purpose of this conference was to bring together a group of researchers to explore the potential of computers to simulate human intelligence. McCarthy and his colleagues believed that if they could create machines that could think and reason like humans, they could revolutionize many fields, including medicine, education, and engineering. During the conference, McCarthy presented his paper titled Proposal for the Dartmouth Conference on Artificial Intelligence. In this paper, he proposed that the field of AI should be concerned with getting machines to do tasks which would require intelligence if done by men. His paper marked the birth of the field of AI, and the term artificial intelligence saw light for the first time. The conference attendees spent the next two months working on various projects related to AI, such as language translation, problem solving, and learning. With McCarthy's paper, the Dartmouth Conference laid the foundation for the development of many of the techniques that are used in AI today, such as natural language 
processing and machine learning. And although the projects were relatively simple compared to what we can do with AI today, they were groundbreaking at the time. Researchers proved that it was possible to create machines that could perform tasks that required intelligence. The years following the conference saw rapid progress in the field of AI. Researchers developed new algorithms and techniques that allowed machines to learn and improve their performance over time. One of the earliest AI programs was a logic theorist developed by Alan Newell and Herbert Simon. This program was designed to prove mathematical theorems using logic rules and was able to solve problems that had never been solved before. After this program, more and more scientists and developers started to create AI programs. And one of the more significant programs was the creation of the General Problem Solver, developed by Newell and Simon in collaboration with J.C. Shaw. This program was designed to solve any problem that could be expressed in a symbolic language, and it was a significant step forward in the field of more complex AI. The early years of AI also saw the development of neural networks, which are algorithms that simulate the structure and function of the human brain. Although the technology was not advanced enough to make neural networks practical at the time, they would go on to become one of the most important techniques in modern AI. Despite the early successes of AI, the field suffered a setback in the 1970s. Researchers had promised that AI would lead to significant advances in fields such as robotics, natural language processing, and computer vision. But progress was slow, and funding began to dry up. This decline in interest in funding led to a significant reduction in the number of AI research projects, and many companies and academic institutions that had previously been active in the field began to scale back their efforts. This led to the first period known as the AI winter, where research in AI stagnated and many experts believed that the field was dead. However, in the 1980s, new developments in computer technology and the ability of large data sets renewed interest in AI. Researchers began to explore new techniques, such as machine learning and deep learning, which allowed machines to gather and process large amounts of data and make predictions or decisions based on that data. Unfortunately, the second AI winter occurred in the late 1980s and early 1990s. This second winter was the result of a combination of factors, including another lack of significant breakthroughs in the development of intelligent systems and the emergence of new challenges, such as the need for large amounts of data and a reduction in funding from government agencies and private investors. Despite these setbacks, the field of AI continued to make progress over the years, and today, it's considered one of the most important and promising areas of technological development. The lessons learned from the AI winters of the past have helped researchers to better understand the challenges involved in developing intelligent machines, and have paved the way for many of the advancements we see today in areas such as natural language processing, computer vision, and robotics. The rise of the internet and the explosion of data in the 21st century has led to a surge in interest in AI. Companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon have invested heavily in AI research, leading to significant advancements in fields like machine learning, but also natural language processing, computer vision, cloud services, and robotics. One of the most significant developments in AI in recent years has been the rise of deep learning. Though scientists had explored deep learning before, it never really came from the ground. These days, Deep learning is more embedded in our culture than ever. Using techniques with neural networks to learn from large amounts of data, deep learning has led to breakthroughs in fields such as image recognition, speech recognition, and natural language processing, and is widely seen as a crucial step to bring artificial intelligence to the next level. One of the fields where deep learning is used is in the development of autonomous systems, such as self-driving cars and drones, which have the potential to revolutionize transportation and logistics. Can you imagine yourself being driven from A to B without needing a real person to drive your car? Or maybe order something online and have it sent to you by drone? Innovations like this are becoming more common, and we're still long from being at the end of experiments and further innovating artificial intelligence. So what it will bring for the future, we don't know yet. With AI developing and becoming more advanced, it has the potential to transform many aspects of our lives. For example, it could lead to significant improvements in fields such as healthcare, transportation, and education. And it could also help us address some of the most significant challenges facing humanity, such as climate change and poverty. More on that in our other videos. However, AI also presents significant challenges such as the potential loss of jobs due to automation, the risk of bias and discrimination in decision-making, and the potential for AI to be used for nefarious purposes. To address these challenges, researchers and policymakers will need to work together to ensure that AI is developed in a way that benefits everyone and that its risks are appropriately managed. 
The fantasy and concept of artificial intelligence has been around for thousands of years, and the birth of AI as a definition at the Dartmouth Conference in 1956 was one of the most important moments in the history of this technology. It marked the beginning of a field that has the potential to revolutionize the world in unimaginable ways. So, if you're interested in learning more about AI and its potential, be sure to like and subscribe to the new technology for more content on this fascinating topic. Thanks for watching.